Highlights from the 71st Scientific Sessions of the American Diabetes Association is brought to you by Cronus. This is the world's largest, most prestigious diabetes meeting, where professionals learn about the latest advances in over 200 cutting-edge sessions, presented by world-renowned diabetes experts. Greetings, I'm David Kendall, the Chief Scientific and Medical Officer of the American Diabetes Association, and I'm pleased to provide the highlights from the late-breaking clinical trials session that was reported at this year's 71st Scientific Sessions. During the late-breaking clinical trials session, we had five unique and, uh, I think, very novel hopefully practice-changing uh, reports on uh, clinical interventions for those with diabetes. Um, leading off that session was a report on the use of a specific anti-VEGF or anti-vascular endothelial growth factor therapy used as intraocular injections to prevent one of the more serious forms of diabetes-related eye disease, namely macular edema. These impressive results demonstrated not only a prevention of this more serious form of uh, diabetes-related eye disease leading to vision loss, but actually showed sight restorative therapy in a significant fraction of patients. Following this presentation was a summary of the self-monitored blood glucose data from the ACCORD trial, trying to gain insights on what daily blood glucose monitoring could teach us regarding some of the complications, namely hypoglycemia, but also the outcomes of the ACCORD trial, which many of you recall showed an unexpected increase in mortality in intensively treated subjects. Now, while these data were complex and don't provide a perfect answer, we have some understanding that, in fact, infrequent hypoglycemia and those treated intensively across the range of hypoglycemia frequencies um, seem to be associated with some increased risk of mortality. That is, uh, those with more frequent hypoglycemia did not appear to be at greater risk for mortality in the intensively treated group. In contrast, those individuals with the more lenient or higher treatment targets those who experienced recurrent episodes of more significant hypoglycemia, as measured by self-monitored blood glucose, had an increase in mortality. What does this tell us? Well, it tells us the relationship between self-monitored blood glucose, hypoglycemia, and mortality is complex, but again underscores the fact that it was not solely achieving low blood glucose targets that actually resulted in the unexpected increase in mortality in Accord. I would encourage all of you to look at follow-up information from these reports because we'll undoubtedly hear much more in years to come. In addition to these reports, we had two novel therapies discussed. The first was a GPR40, or G-protein-coupled uh, receptor agonist, um, a novel mechanism that may be applicable to the treatment of type 2 diabetes in years to come. I think these G-protein-coupled receptor agonists will likely emerge as one exciting class or classes of therapies that we'll see for future treatment of diabetes. In addition, a novel delivery mechanism for one of the GLP-1 agonists was also discussed, and this may lead us to therapies that are not given daily or even monthly, but may be given on a yearly basis as a small implantable device. And finally, to conclude this session, we had a report from the Diabetes Prevention Program looking specifically at long-term cost effectiveness. And I think, uh, much to everyone's delight, there was evidence that the interventions, intensive lifestyle and metformin, were both deemed very cost effective and indeed much more uh, beneficial than the placebo intervention. Overall, the intensive lifestyle intervention, while more expensive to deliver, ultimately resulted in the greatest cost savings over time. You're watching highlights from the 71st Scientific Sessions of the American Diabetes Association. greatest annual research and clinical meeting on diabetes, the 72nd Scientific Sessions in Philadelphia. You've been watching highlights from the 71st Scientific Sessions of the American Diabetes Association.